Hello and welcome, Sagittarius. This is your November 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Yannack, and my friend and guest reader, Jane Arnold. Hello. Welcome back. You've been here six, seven times, uh -huh, maybe, yes. maybe even more. So it's good to have you back. Um, and what we do here, we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in or healing that needs to happen. And then lastly, look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of November 2023 for the sign of the Archer Sagittarius. Before we do all of this, I just want to let you know that I'm currently an executive contributor for an amazing magazine called Brains. There will be a picture on the screen right now. Um, the link to that magazine is in the description box. And they handpick people um, that they feel are knowledgeable. So thank you, thank you very much, Brains Magazine, for picking me. Right? Some of them know what the heck I know. Right? Um, point is, they asked me to write for them, and I write a lot for their mindfulness section. But the, but obviously, I've had access to their magazine as as can you because it's online uh, and free. Um, and there's loads of really amazing people that work spiritually in making your life better, and it's all free of charge. So please, please, please check out. Um, not only the articles I have written, but check them out anyway. And all the other stuff is an amazing magazine. Just want to share that with you. Thank you so much. And now, without further ado, we look at the overall energy for the month of November 2023 for the sign of Sagittarius. Lovely. So, Sagittarians, um, this is definitely the month for you to be looking at new projects. Um, if you haven't already thought uh, uh, about doing something new or taking on a new project, embarking on something new, this is the month for you to be doing that now. Um, if you have already been thinking about it, absolutely, um, this is when you should be starting it, putting your feet forward. It's very much about having the confidence. I've got my confidence card. Dip your toe in the water. Try some new things. Um, don't always go for the... Oh, I know how to do that, I'll do that. This is about, maybe I'll try something new that I don't know how to do and I'll push myself out of my comfort zone a little bit. So, because it's the right month, it's the right time, it's the right energy. Give it a go. Thank you so much. And when it comes to your emotional core, this month, you don't have to do any healing. This month, you have to, or to remember you have free will. So when the guide says things like have to, that is just how they feel you should carry yourself you do you right but you have relationship in the seventh house which is the house of libra which is about balance and you have messages now what that means is you have to or to <laughs> be the person instigating anything and everything to do with relationships but the first thing you need to understand is what your soul is after is balance so even if you go for something really, really new, and even if you feel like I just want to be free and I don't want to commit, that is not the energy that I have here. Right? So obviously you need to fall in love with someone first before you can figure out whether or not they're the right person, and you have to allow uh, the time that that takes. Um, the point here is what doesn't work, wouldn't work, will not work for you, based on the energy that I'm getting, is, is to do anything casual when it comes to relationships not working. So you really go for it. And then the funny thing is, that you have Mercury uh, as an energy here, which is communication, but the energy here, or the, the message here on the card, is messages. Now, and it's the first sign I got this with this card. They're literally showing me someone sending messages. Oh. I'm 56. I find it fucking annoying. <laughs> right? Because they are, number one, they all, they, everything is shortened. I haven't got a bloody notion of what they're saying to begin with. I'm a talker, not a texter. <laughs> It's just what I'm getting. What I'm getting for you is to not look at, you know, uh, am I getting an answer here? How often time should I, you know, it's not about um, making this work. Bottom line is what I'm hearing because of the energy here is the more you do with people in person rather than behind a phone screen or a computer screen will always be easier. So what the guides give me, and it's not sponsored by anybody, it's just the, the way the guides work. And I haven't even looked at that. I just know that this exists. So they give me Bumble. They give me Bumble because um, I had a, a bee phobia. Oh, yeah. And so I pay a lot of attention when they give me anything with bees. Anyway, this is Bumble. So I know that Bumble is about, you know, swiping. So people swipe there. 
you can swipe left if you or something if you're interested and then swipe right and say fuck off. Oh, yeah, right? yeah. But the point is, yeah, I looked at this before because I had that I had that before. Yeah. My sister actually swears on it. So she was like, it's time you are in a relationship because you're a bloody idiot when you're not in one. So maybe she said to me, like, get yourself some bloody bumble. So I had that conversation here. Yeah. Point is, they're giving me bumble. That does not mean for you that you need to look at a new relationship. The point is that there's this swiping. And that means I don't even give it enough energy. I just like it or not. And while it is oftentimes really important to trust your first impressions, I see this, and it's literally speaking here, so it's not me, it's just the energy here, as negative and not conclusive. So don't be casual about anything, right? So this is just what I'm getting. The way they give it to me now, they're sort of changing. Um, anyway, there's a pub thing here in Canock where I live. They're going to share the pub because they haven't bloody paid me for anything. And I don't really want to do that. The point is, in this pub, you are there. I don't even know you, but you understand that you are there. In my vision, you are uh, um, a female energy, um, right? So the point is, people will come to you and ask you to think about your drink. <laughs> Not the other way around, right? But that's the energy of, of typical... So they're, they're, they're doing typical male, female, like you would have in the 50s and 60s energy. Yeah. So this is not about modern world here. The point they're making is, if then someone says, oh, he's quite nice, and yeah, he looks better than this one. This whole shallow shit that is happening about, okay, why well, this guy, you know, uh, has four arms like this. I'm not saying you shouldn't be... Uh, um, attracted to people that actually look after themselves but there's this element also here it's like okay well if you you know so obviously i get that you know why would you deal with people that are not confident i get that totally right because it doesn't work for you because the way the the the, the um the energy of the divine feminine is is it's the wrong word programmed is that you are interested in feeling safe at all times and so therefore in a partner whether or not it doesn't really matter what gender this has to be reflected the point the guides are making is just because this guy would probably um, kick 10 people's heads in if something comes your way might not be what you need. What you need. So the, the bottom line here is you have to go way deeper here to really get what it is that will, will fulfill you long term. right? And the interesting thing is because they talked about Bumble, which obviously is for people that are in a relationship, if I hear that right, and about the pup. Right? which is also, again, scenario-wise, which just single people, if that makes sense. So in my energy here, the way they give it to me, or the way it is presented, they're not talking about people at this section of the reading that are in a relationship. But this is how this works. This is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you. My experience is, and my belief is, that anybody that finds that video, there's something in here that is for you. I don't believe in coincidence. The universe doesn't doesn't um, waste your time either, right? So should that not um, quite apply to you? Should you be in a relationship? There's still a lot of stuff here that I'm getting that you could use in the relationship you're in yeah. um, to bring about change. Okay, and change is 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 also Mercury because that's the number five, and five is the number of change. So the point they're making is anything that is stale doesn't really work for you. Okay. And now we're moving on to opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of November 2023 for the sign of um, Sagittarius. Are we in Sagittarius or are we in? We're in Sagittarius, yeah. Are we? Yes. Did we not talk about the, the Archer or was it there was another reading, right? No, it wasn't Sagittarius. Was, was See, we're reading. recording it all <laughs> one in one go. So we're now with what? The 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 ninth sign, right? That yes. makes sense. So I'm losing track of what, what, what I said. Okay, perfect. Right, Sagittarius, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Lovely. And following on from that, um, we have uh, new beginnings. So this is the over overview. Um, actually ties in with what you've just said emotionally mm. and uh, what I said at the very start. We have new beginnings, changes in direction. Um, the birth of, of of new things coming in for you as well. So it really does tie in with what we've just said. But also, there's nothing to worry about. So there may be times that you are going to be worrying about these changes and worrying about where it's going to take you, where you're heading. And I remember saying a minute ago, you know, even if it's something that you're not sure about, you should go ahead and do it. This is just reinforcing that. 
so these opportunities that are coming in and they are good opportunities some of them will be out of your comfort zone and you will be worried and it's saying don't worry how you're going to do it how you're going to get there the universe will help with that things will sort themselves out the main thing is to grab these opportunities and grab this change for for what it's worth and go with it because it's the right time it's the right month it's the right energy yeah and remember it's this one getting here is, is the outro so to speak you will likely have good friends but they only advise from their point of view yeah so if someone says mm, don't like this guy this lady what's it to you you make you you do you you make your own decisions it's nice people want to protect you i get that they're friends they don't want any harm to come to you but it's oftentimes the case when you do readings that people give you advice yeah. that has to do with them I'll give you an example at a reading the other day where the guys were saying is get the fuck out of there out of here <laughs> they were literally saying like you know the location is wrong it's time for you to move it's very direct and very in your face and um turned out that the person thought about it but the person that was there with her um it horrified her but it was because she would lose her friends yeah. the guys never said she would lose her friends the guys would have said oh yeah you can still visit you're yeah. not she, she didn't show me that person moving to south Park that right or something no offense against south Park that is just really far away <laughs> but you understand that this is all about understanding that when you ask people for their opinion you oftentimes get their opinion not yours Right? So in a way, you are on your own in this, but this is also a one-on-one -on -one relationship that is going on here, or hopefully will be going on. So of course it has to be all about you and not about, you know, what do you think, if that makes sense. Right? Which is not a really interesting thing. It doesn't really matter how old you get. You do ask people, you know, do you trust this person? You know, are they nice kind of stuff? Because you have been through so much, <laughs> you know. But the universe is always saying the same. It doesn't work that way. You find it out all by your lonesome. If that makes sense right that's all we got thank you so much lastly don't go yet i have a special offer for you just in the month of november if you are interested in getting a personalized astrology report either for you or for a loved one there's a 10 percent off offer in the month of november the reason why i put it up in november is because they get quite popular um, especially around christmas time and it takes me three to five days to actually write a report so the earlier you book this the better I will not tell you what it all entails because I actually did an, ex an entire three and a half minutes short or long video about this that you can also find on this channel. But as you can see on the picture here, um, there's a 10% off. You can get it as a PDF or as a deluxe version when it comes to a beautiful folder. And the feedback over the last two and a half years has been tremendous. It, a lot of people have said like, you know, God, I had no idea that, uh, that, that you could figure out who I am, but you got me to a T, which is not about how awesome I am. It's just about understanding this is, these are your imprints, so they will come out. That makes sense. I'm not saying I'm not awesome. The point I'm making is, you know, this is not rocket science. Once you understand astrology, you will get your answers. Yeah. So I believe that this is something that, that a lot of people could actually learn, if that makes sense, right? So I'm not knocking myself. The point I'm making is um, the, the feedback has been that um, it is sort of the, the gift that keeps on giving because people have to sort of read it four or five times in sections because there's so much information. Um, but the feedback has been that it is really valuable and I can only go by the feedback that is uh, on, on uh, my Facebook page and, and, and the likes um, and what I have experienced, right? So if you want one, it's 10% off. How awesome is this? God, it's like Christmas already. <laughs> Great Christmas <laughs> present. Christmas present. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you so much. Um, see you all next month, hopefully. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas thank you so much jane thank you so much thank you Enjoyed see you it. soon bye bye, bye, -bye.